Let's talk about the Royals. Oh, seeing them do a hard day's work. Okay, Rupert <laughs> Bell is Talk Radio's World Correspondent. Good morning to you. Good morning, Julia. Um, let's race through this. Lots to talk about. First of all, uh, The Crown on Netflix. I finally, I've got, I'm about six episodes in. I have to say, I'm a bit. Oh, doesn't really. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of Imelda Staunton as uh, as the Queen. I've, I'm still back with the first one, whoever she was. Fantastic. Um, a, a, a bit for a fascinating story that uh, Prince Philip wanted to sue the Crown way back. I think episode well, it was series two or three, wasn't it? When the depictions of his sister's death in a plane crash and, and a member of the family apparently blaming him. She was only on the plane because of you. And he actually contacted lawyers and was going to sue. It's extraordinary how sort of engaged the royal family have been with this TV series. Well, I know they've watched it, but clearly this was back in 1937 when Prince Philip's sister died in a plane crash flying over from uh, flying to london but it, the crash happened in belgium in 1937 now the crown depiction of it was that she was flying over because he'd been a naughty boy at gordonston and couldn't fly back to the family for half term well this prince philip said was not the case at the time and he was close to his sister anyway uh, and uh, they were flying over to see him and and that's what upset him at the time. But yeah. clearly, this is the fine line about the crown. Where does uh, the the fact become a drama, dramatised version of events? Clearly, from a story point of view, that made a, a good element to the story. Now, I don't know whether uh, no one knows exactly the, the, the re what happened and why she came, but the, the claim is that she was coming over for perfectly legitimate reasons. Um, she was heavily pregnant at the time. <laughs> And obviously desperately sad what happened and philip felt aggrieved enough to contact his solicitors but i think it would have been a difficult one i, you know, I have to say I mean, all it came across to me was that this it, the depiction of this member of the family was just being very yeah. cruel to a young boy um it is interesting i mean talking of cruelty uh, prince andrew thinks he's been hard done by rots reports over the weekend that he's still planning a return to public life prince charles okay, sorry, do this all the time king charles mm. still having none of it but um it is extraordinary that Prince Andrew does not get it, does he? No, not at the moment. He never... In a way, that's always been his problem. Um, his arrogance um, has always been his undoing. And this is the problem. And he thinks now he's just holed up in his house in Windsor. And clearly he feels uh, completely restrained. But it's all his own doing. Now, whatever may be going on with Virginia Guthrie saying that she's uh, not actually with this Alan Dursovich and she's mistaken and dropping the, the allegations against him. So he, Andrew, then feels that he's now in a better position. But unfortunately, he gave £12 million to her or whatever the, the amount was, but that's what is reported. And, you know, he is he is not going to find any way coming back. The no. public will not have it. Absolutely. And the king is absolutely right. And he, I, he, he, and he knows the deal. Well, in terms of way back also, what about Harry and Meghan? It turns out next month they're going to receive a human rights award in New York with wealthy Americans paying up to $1 million for four places, including sitting at the top table uh, with Harry and Meghan. This is a humanitarian award that has been won by you know, previous presidents like uh, Barack Obama and Bill Clinton. What are they getting it for? Can you Do, do we know what amazing work they've done I, mean, I know there's some charitable work they've done but again to be fair when you're a royal that's your job oh yeah well, yes you're there to help and support people and the archwell foundation i think it's supposed to be linked to that but clearly it's a pr opportunity for them i mean actually when you think just yesterday uh, i think jeff bezos gave dolly Parton 100 million for charity and that seemed you know for her She's obviously doing some good work. It clearly will be an opportunity for Harry and Meghan to grandstand. Um, but yes, fine, they may be doing great work with their charities, and I'm sure there is some good work going on. But so soon to be getting a fated like that yeah. does seem to me to be disingenuous, and clearly they will relish the occasion. I'm, you know, fine, and if people are. Uh, are prepared to pay a million dollars to go and sit at the top table with them? Well, more I've, fools. I've got to be honest with you. But... I, I'd pay a million dollars not to have to sit. I've got no, no, thanks. I'll sit. I'll I'll sit somewhere else. I'll sit in the kitchen. Uh, Rupert Bell, Talk Radio's World Correspondent. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>